So previously in our videos, uh, we installed Windows Server 2019 on a Hyper-V in a virtual machine environment and then we installed Windows 10 Enterprise on Hyper-V uh, in the virtual machine. Now we're going to connect the Windows 10 machine to uh, our server, both running at the same time on virtual Hyper-V side by side and see if we can connect them <coughs> and make uh, a domain environment. So let's get to it. First, we're going to run the Hyper-V, and we're going to run server, we're going to run it, you know, start, it's running, we can turn on the Windows 10 machine as well, connect, connect, <coughs> So you can see this is giving me a local user account to connect to. It's not giving me any option. <coughs> right now it's a work group. So that's why only the local user that we had created, it's working. So we're gonna enter the password for it and on the server it's still loading. Well it gives you the administrator to log into it. So here it is, it's uh, in. And uh, since it was, uh, if you remember uh, uh, in the last video, we downloaded an evaluation. Uh, version so you see it was 90 days now it's for 86 days left <coughs> same is true for the uh, uh, server it was I believe 180 days and now it should be a week or more uh, gone out of it <coughs> so we logged in now the thing what we want to do is um, is admin center okay we can exit it <coughs> so basically you need to uh, I I did not show you uh, show you this one that you have to install DHCP as well because basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this <coughs> server excuse me this server uh, as a acting as a router as well so basically this machine they will ask for uh, server for a site like intranet not internet internet like the uh, sites or services hosted on our server and it will say okay yeah you're looking for uh, if you're looking for any site that is in our servers or in our network it will <coughs> uh, transfer the request and connect you over there but if it's not or you're going to you're trying to go to a website on the actual internet then it will allow you to go so for that it will actually give you the um, IP addresses a lot um, rather than the router so and <coughs> now we're gonna make this PC uh, connect to this is a work group so we want to make this PC connect to the domain we can change it from here and don't confuse this one a lot of people when they are asked change the computer name they come and change it here and it does not affect because it's just description the actual change take place here to rename or, or change its domain so you click here you can rename the name here <coughs> or domain so what happens when you we put uh, try to put the domain which is going to be if you see it's either server 19 or it was in local, I believe when we set it up uh, we can check over here right in round.local so what happens when we try to connect it to server 19 will it connect no okay maybe it's more not local <coughs> no the, w the reason is right now this computer if you can see here it has internet access if we for example if we can go if we want to go to internet and we want to go to YouTube it can go online right so basically <coughs> this computer is asking for the router to connect to this domain and of course this domain is not in the internet it's uh, hosted locally so it's rejecting and we get the error message we can click here on the can network and internet settings you can go to the change connection properties <coughs> and then we have to scroll down and click on IP setting you see it's automatic DHCP we need to configure it <coughs> set to manual 
IPv4 and we have to give this the DNS the preferred DNS that it should look for and that will be going to be this one 172.18.101.219 so basically we want our Cindus 10 machine to go and ask for a site's IP address to the server our Windows Server 2019 before it actually can go and look online <coughs> for that 172 numlock 172.18.101.219 and what if it's uh, since our <coughs> uh, the server is for local we want to give it a backup one just in case so we can go provide it for the google one dns server hit save exit out of it and now try to connect to i want to check if it's connect to server Server 19, it was it. It's trying to. Nope. So basically, this is the domain name, not the server name. If you can see it, we named the server as server 19, but our domain that is, um, but that can be found here. Oh. That's your domain name, imran.local. So we need to put <coughs> imran.local here. We can click OK. Uh, something is wrong here. Imran. Dot, oh, that was a colon, um, comma, actually. So that's why it did not work. Now it's giving us the computer name and <clears throat> if we can go here and see how many users we have actually and if we this is there a sort filter filter option show only the users and we have only the <clears throat> so these are all the users we have guest is disabled this is past uh, or per current person so we can log in with either one of them we can use the um, administrator account or we can log with the uh, other of the president so let's uh, go with the president well give the password <coughs> and see what happens it's it's welcoming us to the domain now it can ask us to restart we're going to do it close restart now so the computer is restarting and when it comes back hopefully it is connected to <coughs> our domain or is it going to be <laughs> so now uh, one thing is changed is it's still the local user it's giving us an option for another user and if we click on other users it sign into Imran that is our <coughs> domain and how do I sign into another domain? I can click and provide another domain, right? The name slash domain username to sign into another domain. Basically, if we had another domain, for example, Linux, we will do it, uh, and we were a member of it, that this the account holder. Then we could Imran slash, uh, sorry, username slash Linux, and then enter the password. But uh, we're gonna sign into, <coughs> And if you want to just uh, as a local user, you can do it from over here. So we're gonna click on username that was Bill. Or for example, we restarted with Bill. Let's see if we can uh, sign in with Obama. Can we? <coughs> to sign in remotely, you need the right to sign in through remote desktop services. So basically, we did not uh, enable the remote desktop. So we need to go OK and we can go over here. Now we have to enable remote desktop. Remember, we are doing it on our um, server, remote desktop for the settings. When we go over here, we try to turn it on, nothing happens. We cannot select, so it's not working. What do you need to do? Nothing else on the sidebars? No. We can turn it on another from another thing that is properties remote settings right there allow 
okay is it out of it and now try to connect see if it lets us <coughs> hmm we did the right thing there now maybe we have to go to server manager tools user users uh, properties remote desktop service profile local path connect there's no de deny remote control we can try one more thing again it's trial and error so we can try to um, log into this account as a local user and so since it's windows 10 right here we can go to <coughs> properties and remote settings and allow remote connection to this computer okay we can exit out of it what is it? it's a disconnect what does oh. now we can try the other one this time we're gonna try um, and let's see if it's no caps lock is on still the same error so bill is logged in and you can see that it's the for the first time so it worked uh, basically you had to just restart the machine now it is able to um, log in and <coughs> us logging into our windows server 2019 there and if we can go over there you see the interface has changed a little bit we no longer have that my computer and network here <coughs> this one is still the evaluation so that stayed if we can go to our active directory <coughs> this one and we click on computers an item to show in this okay view uh, where was it filter options computers so we see that computers are right there so we click on computers and that Windows 10 machine which is essentially this one showed up over here <coughs> now if we go and click on our network do we see that we see server no the windows 10 is not there i don't know what this dsc client is anyhow now basically this computer right here is connected to that one and it can access is <coughs> can we go and go to a website yes it first checked and because we provided the google dns i'm assuming that's how it's going to the <coughs> uh, internet but this computer is now connected in a domain environment uh, it's no longer in a work group so if we had to do it uh, first we had to again go to personalize personalize it a little bit you can go to themes and click on desktop icon settings computer and network show up and then from there network discovery is turned on okay we can turn it on turn on network discovery <coughs> so is it asking for the administrator password or the local password we can give it bill we log in with bill so we give bill password that is <coughs> no so basically it's asking for the 
admin password apparently we can try to give it build password one more time it did not work so let's try it worked <clears throat> now file sharing all, all that is enabled and it can see the server 19 what happens on network on server does it see the <clears throat> no so that was it now this one this now this machine or the user is using this what if this user logs out we want to log out and what is it Bill Clinton all right he wants to sign out and he does now for example oh so he is completely gone we can media action and other user let's say that is uh, Obama Obama wants to login <coughs> it's welcoming Obama all we have to do is allow remote connection on both computers or server and the PC and it will let them so this is how you connect two computers and they are running uh, in virtual machines they are connected to each other all right so you see that's a brand new desktop uh, we enable the my computer network in the old one it's no longer showing here so now Obama is uh, here you can see it over here you see so <coughs> another user is logged into it now <coughs> excuse me and if we have to no audio that is okay so this machine right now in this state is running through domain we can uh, take it out of the domain and go back to work group and the same process we do it right click on uh, my computer change and do all that but if we want to play a little bit or more we want to change the <coughs> um, uh, the groups and settings like uh, there's a shared resource on server that only one user can access and not so we're gonna do that in the next video for this one we're gonna cancel uh, exit it out over here and that's how our domain it's uh, connected and it's good to go let's restart these machines and then see you in another video